Advanced math lesson 37. Whoa, really out of focus today. Hold on. Uh, uh, mm. There we go. Advanced math lesson 37. The line is a locus and the midpoint formula. Uh, line is a locus. Um, it's just a concept of how to view a line that will help us understand the application of uh, midpoint formula. Or not, sorry, not midpoint. Distance formula. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use these drawings in the book. Uh, locus more or less means the collection of all the points um, of a specific uh, definition. For example, if we were to use the word locus to define a circle, we would say a circle is defined as the locus of all the points that are the same distance from a single point. Uh, so it's kind of like putting a stake in the ground, taking a line that's a, you know 10 feet long, and then drawing the circle around the stake. The circle that you drew, every single point on the circle is 10 feet away from the stake. We represent that by radius. Now for a line, uh, they define that as the locus of all the points that are the same distance from two specific points. So if we have the line, or the points A and B, uh, and we were to plot every single distance that is the same distance away from A and B, we would end up with a straight line. Uh, and the way that works is, you know, if we were to go from B to this point, or A to this point, we'd have the same distance. We'd actually be creating isosceles triangles all the way down this line. Um, and that that's how we know uh, that they're the same distance apart. So this line is actually all the points that are the exact same distance from two existing points. And we can use a uh, distance formula to help us figure out the equation of a line when we know nothing about that line except that is it is the equal distance between points A and B. And I'll show you what this looks like right, where's my example, uh, right here. So on example 37.2, they tell us to find the equation of the line that is equidistant from the points 4, 2, and negative 2, negative 3. And then we need to write the equation in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form being our y equals mx plus b format. Now, if you remember distance equation uh, back on page 252, uh, there's four different ways we can write it. Um, all we have to do here is take our points, 4, 2, and negative 2, negative 3, and plug them into two distance equations equal to each other. So our first point, 4, 2, and then we've got negative 2, negative 3. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take two distance equations. I'm going to set them equal to each other in an equation, and I'm going to plug this value in here and then these values in here. Now, you'll notice I'm missing uh, a second x and a second y for this half, and that's fine. So I'll go ahead and I'll do x1, which is 4, minus x2, which I'll just call x because I don't know what it is. That's squared. And I'm going to add that to y1, which is 2, minus y, which would be the y2. I don't know what that is. That's squared. So I take this point. I plug it into the distance formula as best as I can, even though I'm missing two pieces. That's one side of the equation. The other side of the equation, I'm going to do the same thing with these points. I'm going to take my x, negative 2, uh, minus x squared, plus negative 3, minus y squared. <clears throat> so, uh, again, I'm just using distance formula twice. Uh, I'm setting it equal to each other, and then I'm, I'm going to solve this. So I have to be very good at my polynomial rules and my algebra rules. I'm going to solve this, and when I solve this, and I write it in y equals mx plus b form, I will have the equation of the line in between. So... Uh, the easy part is setting it up. If you can remember how to set it up, uh, then you get into the algebra, which can be considered the hard part. And the hard part is I'm going to have to do a lot of foiling. So 4 minus x squared. If I foil uh, the first times the first, I'm going to get 16. Right? Uh, the last times the last is going to give me uh, x squared. So negative x times negative x gives me positive x squared. And then negative x times 4 is going to give me negative 4x twice, so I'll get negative 8x. So 4 minus x squared is going to turn out to be 16 minus 8x plus x squared. Then I'm going to add that to y, 2 minus y squared. So the first times the first, 2 times 2 is going to give me 4. Negative y times negative y is going to give me positive y squared. Uh, and then negative y times 2 is going to give me negative 2. Uh, double that, I get negative 4y. Uh, if you're having trouble tracking how I'm uh, foiling these polynomials, um, all I'm doing is I'm taking 4 minus x times 4 minus x. When I multiply that, I get this. Uh, same thing with the y. 2 minus y times 2 minus y gives me, four, gives me all of this. 
So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to do it very quickly so that way we have time to go over um, the rest the rest of the problem. Um, so just uh, if you're having trouble with that, go ahead and pause. Maybe review how to you know do the foil method, uh, but it's it's not too difficult. Now, um, I've actually got the square root of all of that on the left side of the equation. And on the right side of the equation, I'm going to have the square root of first times the first, negative 2 times negative 2 gives me positive 4. Last times the last is going to give me positive x squared. Uh, negative 2 times negative x is going to give me positive 2x, plus times 2 is going to be positive 4x. Uh, then same thing over here. Uh, 3 times 3 is going to give me 9. Y, negative y times negative y is going to give me y squared. Um, and then negative 3 times negative y is 3y times 2 is plus 6y. Okay? Now, from here, I can see that I can simplify this equation by squaring both sides. So if I were to square both sides, I would just get 16 minus 8x plus x squared plus 4y. And again, I'm distributing this positive sign to everything, which doesn't really change anything. Uh, oh, well, plus 4y plus 4. Wait, no, who? Oh, I'm, I did that backwards. Sorry. Uh, that should be plus 4 minus 4y plus y squared. It's going to equal 4 plus 4x plus x squared plus 9 plus 6y plus y squared. This is a lot of polynomials to deal with. If I can simplify this equation and solve it for y, put it in y equals mx plus b, I then have the equation in my line. So uh, I see here really quickly that if I were to subtract x squared, if I was to move this, if I subtract x squared from each side, these cancel. Same thing with the y squared. If I subtract y squared from each side, those cancel, which makes it a little bit easier to look at. So if I write it without the x squared and the y squared, now what I have, and also to clean up all this gibberish that I did over here, um, what I have is 16 minus 8x plus 4 minus 4y equals 4 plus 4x plus 9 plus 6y. Now, uh, to simplify, all I have to do is solve for y. So I'm going to move all the y's to one side, everything else to the other side. So I'll go ahead and I'll add 4y here, add 4y here. That one's going to cancel. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 9, subtract 4, I'll subtract 4, subtract 9, and in no particular order. So those two get canceled. And then I also have to move the 4x, so I'll subtract 4x as well. Uh, and that gets canceled. So uh, 16 minus 9 gives me uh, 7. Negative 8x plus negative 4x is negative 12x. Those actually cancel. And then that is all going to equal 10y. I am almost done. From here, the last thing I need to do is divide by the coefficient of 10y. So to make this easy, I'm going to do it like that. I'll just divide each term individually. Uh, and then I just need to write the equation in, I need to put it in reverse order. So I have the y on the one side. So y is going to equal negative 12 over 10x plus... 7 over 10, uh, and then 12 over 10 can actually reduce to 6 over 5. So my final equation, y, is going to be equal to negative 6 over 5x plus 7 over 10. And that is the equation of the line in between these two points. So distance formula, set equal to itself, put in some unknowns, do some polynomial simplification, some foiling, and then solve the equation for y, and we've got our answer. Um, what else do we have? Okay, last thing on this lesson called midpoint formula. Very, very easy. Um, midpoint formula is, comes in two parts. Uh, to find the x value, you're going to take x1 plus x2, divide it by 2. y is going to be equal to y1 plus y2, divided by 2. That's midpoint formula. Add the x's, divide them by 2. Add the y's, divide them by 2. What we use midpoint formula for is for finding the point that is uh, in between two points on a coordinate plane. So uh, for an example problem, if we are given the coordinates uh, negative, t you know, I'll do this on the graph. Where's my marker? There it is. So we have two points. We're given the points 
Oh, that's the long marker. That one's all. Where's the one I had the other day? I had a better marker last time I did this. Where did it go? Somebody take it? Oh, I'm going to pause so I'm not wasting time. Found it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to have the points of negative 2, comma, 6 and uh, 4, comma, negative 10. And my goal is to find the midpoint between these two points. Uh, I do not have to graph this. I'm just doing it so you can visualize. So if I go to the first one, negative 2, comma, 6, that's going to bring me all the way up here. The next one, 4, uh, negative 10. Takes me negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, all the way over here. And i got to find the midpoint between these two points. Um, yeah, that's actually a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, uh, so you don't actually have to graph these. I'm just doing this so you can visualize. So the way I'm going to find the midpoint for x is I'm going to take x1, add it to x2, divide by 2. So uh, negative 2 plus 4 over 2. That becomes positive 2. 2 over 2 is just equal to 1. Okay, so I'm going to be at 1 on the x-axis. So right there. Okay. Uh, and then for the y, I just take 6 plus negative 10, which gives me 4. So 6 uh, plus negative 10. And then I'm going to divide that by 2. So that gives me 4. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So it's just going to be 1, comma. Wait, hold on. Boop, 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 boop. Hold on. Negative 4. <laughs> I was like, I made a mistake. So that's going to be negative 2. Sorry. So 6 plus negative 10, negative 4, negative 2. So I go to 1, I go to negative 2. I, I was about to go up, and I was like, that's definitely not the midpoint. So if I look at these two points, point A and point B, I can see that I actually have found the midpoint right there. That is the equal distance between the two points. So midpoint formula is really simple. 1 comma negative 2 is the midpoint, and that would be my answer. All you do is take x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Those two points are our coordinates. Midpoint formula, super simple. If you have any questions, let me know on Moodle, and I will see you in class.